Hey Shutter Freaks! In this video I wanted to speak about my Polaroid One Step 2 camera. I am a huge instant photography lover and this is just the first of many videos about instant photography that I want to do. So subscribe to keep updated on the upcoming videos. First let's take a look at the camera. It has a nice viewfinder, the lens, a flash, the exposure compensation switch and the shutter button. In the bottom we have a compartment for the film. In the back we have here the viewfinder, the on-off switch, a light that says if the flash is charging, when it's blinking it's charging, and a micro USB port charge the battery. As you can see, when the camera is on, you will have LEDs here to show how many frames you have left in the package. So I just shot one of this i-type cartridge. This camera takes both 600 film and i-type film. I wanted to share with you my reflections on this camera since I really wanted to have one, but I'm a bit disappointed by the results. Coming from a series of other instant foot cameras, maybe I was expecting different results. Let me show you. This is a photo taken with this camera on an i-type film. It was outside, full bright light, and it's a bit overexposed. The flowers are burnt. And this instead is taken with 600 film. And, I mean, yeah, it was sundown and the flash unlighted the part in front of the camera but the back is a bit dark this one maybe in camera you don't see but it's really not sharp it's like almost it, the picture was not in focus even if the distance was infinite, so it should at least have focused to infinite. The photos I have taken with Instant Mini, like Fujifilm Mini 90 or the Lomo Instant Automat, or even Fujifilm SQ6, are way much more vibrant in colors and contrasted. With the Polaroid One Step 2, I get very old style faded results, and I guess. This is the desired style, the purpose of the camera. I also shoot with this a Polaroid light mixer 630. This camera is from 1984. This camera was bought by my father the year I was born to take pictures of me as a baby. Let's say that even if this camera is 36 years old, and was always well well kept after 36 year I managed to get these results my takeaway for this camera is I thought a lot about selling this, but at the end I think I will keep it for my collection, but I'm not really sure I will use it again, or let's say not very much, just maybe if, if some eye type nice frame comes out to take pictures with friends and family, but I think that when I want to get the results really really good results 
I will stick to my old Polaroid. This is, let me say, it, something that really made me think because I spent almost 100 euros on this and this, okay, for me, came free but you can find one of these in good state on eBay for 30 euro, 30 dollars Now I have to choose between the One Step 2 new or a old Polaroid super color or light mixer I would choose the used Polaroid all the way Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the review of the Polaroid light mixer